Welcome back, everyone. We are now at the six-month mark of our ceramic spray coatings longevity test. If you've been following my channel, you know that the last month of weather here in Texas has been quite dramatic. We've had 10 inches or about 25 centimeters of snow, a bunch of rain on top of that, and huge temperature swings have all exposed our test hood to some interesting weather. We've had no power for about three days, no water for about four days during this whole mess, and we're glad to see everything behind us, and springtime is once again here in Texas. Sharing with you a few pictures I snapped during this snowstorm. For those not familiar, most of Texas has no sh snow removal equipment, except for the northern, very northern parts of Texas. The cities were renting road graders to plow the snow off of the roads. It was pretty amazing. I want to take a moment to remind you that if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Smash that like button, comment down below. It helps others get to see these videos by doing so. We're coming up on 15,000 subscribers, which is fantastic. And I plan on doing another giveaway at the 20,000 mar uh, 20, subscriber mark, so be sure to follow along for that. Back to the test. If you're not familiar with these types of tests, this panel sits outside our shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week, exposed to the elements, and we'll of course wash and inspect it on a monthly basis until the last one fails. I have other tests with different products right now running, so if you want to check those out, trim, uh, ceramic trim, ceramic coatings, I have lots of different products that I'm testing. Getting to the wash. If you followed these tests long enough, you know the drill, but for those just joining us, the wash process goes something like this. First, we'll foam it down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. Let it dwell, rinse it off, foam it again, wash it again before rinsing things off. After that, we'll go ahead and inspect all the hydrophobic properties, see how they're holding up, and then at the very end, we will dry it off. I'd like to remind you that I'm completely unsponsored and unbiased and that 100% of these products are purchased out of my own pocket unless otherwise stated. Also, any of these products you see in this test can be purchased using the Amazon Associates links in the description below. It does help the channel out if you use those links, so please consider doing that. Another way you can support the channel is through patreon.com slash scotthd. And remember, 100% of the money goes right back into buying more products to test. On to the update. Turtle Wax Ceramic Wet Wax. It's been weeks since the 60 day mark, and really nothing has changed. It just has never been extremely hydrophobic. Turtle Wax Ceramic Coat that you see there, we're going to call that failed at the six month mark. You can see that there's a little bit that's sticking around, but not, not much. Turtle Wax Ice Seal and Shine, also getting weak at the six month mark. Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax Liquid, this is not the spray wax, this is their liquid in the bottle. It's doing okay, showing some signs of getting kind of weak. Mother CMX Ceramic Spray Wax and IGL Easy Graphene, which is a pre-production product graphene spray, doing fantastic. Glosset Bodyguard Spray, also doing great. And here's the, of course, Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Spray Wax. Well loved, seems to do quite well in other tests. Still doing great here. Shine Armor. It failed at the 30 day mark. Adams 9H spray coating, which I don't think they sell that anymore. They may, but I think they've they've moved everything over to their graphene stuff. But it's doing okay. G Technic C2 V3, been around for a while, made in the UK. Looks like the water kind of goes over to that panel, but it does it does come off. Grios 3 in 1. Very hydrophobic still, doing outstanding. Adams 9H Graphene Spray, and I guess I'm showing you easy graphene there again. Glosset Detail Spray, it failed about 60 days. CarPro Reload was less than 60 days as well. It's one of the originals of the uh, SiO2 sprays. They haven't changed, updated anything. Hasn't held up well. In this instance, next gen. That's isn't that the guy that says, "You want to know why my product sucks?" Well, there's your answer. Less than 30 days. The last coat V2, their revised formula. It is. It was weak at the five month mark. 
and I think we're going to keep it still weak here at the six month mark. Not a whole lot of protection left, and, and as far as hydrophobics go, we'll we'll see how it's going to stick around, but we'll leave it at weak for now. Owner's Pride ceramic detailer failed within 60 days. F11 top coat, the first rinse, it failed, and of course IGL Premier, extremely hydrophobic. So we're getting getting down to the final few. You know, if you had to if you had to pick a top three right now, what would you say? Let me know in the comments. IGL Easy Graphene, you can't really consider that because it's a pre-production product, but it is doing very well. If you had to choose three, let me know in the comments. It looks like Premier, Griot's, and maybe Adam's 9H or Mother's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. That would be mine right now. But we're not to the end yet. Let me know in the comments, guys. Here's, of course, the drying process. Wanted to apologize for the late updates starting out this month. Things have been crazy trying to get caught up from the weather. Been running behind in, their, in our shop. And it's just, it's been, it's been an interesting past couple weeks. So I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. I know a couple of you guys have been bugging me. Said, hey where's your updates and they're coming they're recorded here i've just got to edit them all together trying to make some time here it is one o'clock in the morning on the uh, third day of march as i'm editing this and i'm trying to upload this for you guys for the morning and as always i will leave the google docs file in the video description the amazon associates links for where you can buy all these products and the fail times for everything are in a graphic coming up here at the end of the video. Thanks again guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next update. As usual, all of my monthly updates, they'll be every other day at about 8 a.m. Central Time here in the U.S. is when they will go live. See you soon.